Hello everyone, welcome to Kamats Academy. Today we'll do the part 2 video of Simple Interest Chapter. If you have not watched part 1 video, there I have taught the concepts as well as some problems have been completed. So please watch part 1 video, then later come to part 2 and see the video, okay? So my humble suggestion is to see the description box below. There I have given part 1 video link, okay? Please go through it. So let's begin with question number 5. Ravi borrowed Rs 90,500 in a bank. After 7 years and 6 months, he had to pay a lump sum of Rs 1,71,950 to the bank. Find the rate of interest charged. First write down what are the things given. So Ravi borrowed. So that is present. Sorry, that is principal amount. After 7 years and 6 months. So N is equal to 7 years and 6 months. That I will write later. He had to pay a lump sum of Rs 1,71,950. That is A. Right? Now we have to find interest. Rate of interest, that is R. Right? Now, you should find N. N is 7 years and 6 months. In earlier video, in part 1 video, I have shown you how to solve this type of fractions, mixed fractions, right? So, 7 into 12 plus 6 by 12 is equal to, that is 7.5. Right? 7.5 years. So, let's write it down neatly. Okay? So, this is P, this is A, N is equal to 7.5 years and you don't know what is the value of i or r okay anyone just write i for time being let's find i first later if you multiply 100 to the i value you will get r okay so now what formula you have to use so for finding i you have a formula there a is equal to p into 1 plus i n or n i right i hope you are getting this formula right so a is equal to p into 1 plus n i so this formula will substitute the values so what is the value of a 1 lakh 71950 is equal to what is the value of p 90500 right so into 1 plus what is the value of i you don't know right i as it is now what is the value of n that is 7.5 okay now let's take this 90500 to the lhs side then 171950 divided by 90,500, right, is equal to 1 plus 7.5 i. So, if you take this 1 to the LHS, then so 1,71,950 divided by 90,500 minus 1 is equal to 7.5 i. So, if you solve this, this entire part, wait, one second. If you solve this part, we will get value as 0 0.9 is equal to 7.5 i. Now, let's solve for i. i is equal to 0 0.9 divided by 7.5. Right? Then, that is 0 0.12. i is equal to 0 0.12. I will write here. Okay? i is equal to 0 0.12. When i is equal to 0 0.12, i into 100, you have to find r, right? 0 0.12 into 100 is equal to 12%. The question is to find the rate of interest. So, rate of interest is 12%. 0 0.12 into 100 will give you the value of r. Okay, r is equal to i into 100. You have to find the percentage, right? Right? So, i into 100. 0 0.12, which is in the form of decimal, into 100, you will get the percentage. That is 12%. So this is the answer. This is the answer. Okay. I hope you're clear with this question. Let's move on with the question number six. A sum of money amounts to sixteen thousand five hundred in two years at five percent per annum. Find SI and P. So the question is to find SI and P. Now a sum of money. What is this? A sum of money that is P. So whether you know the value of P, no amounts to 16,500. So, this 16,500 in 2 years. After 2 years, you are going to get 16,500. That is nothing but A. You know the value of N, that is 2, 2 years. Now, R is given, I is equal to 5 by 100, that is 0 0.05, 5 percent, right? So, in the form of decimal, we are writing I, 0 0.05. Now, find SI and P. So, here, amount formula, A is equal to P into 1 plus NI. Okay, okay. So, what is the formula, I mean, what is the value of A, 16,500? 
is equal to what's the value of p you don't know plus what is the value of n that's 2 into 0.5 okay now 0.5 into sorry 0 0.05 into 2 plus 1 that is uh, 1.10 p is equal to 16500 if you solve for p 16500 divided by 1.10 you will get the value of p as 15000 rupees 15000 so one part of the question is done to find p now what's the another part find si you know a formula si is equal to a minus p the question is to find the interest Okay, the total amount 16,500 minus P that is 15,000 is equal to 1,500. Okay, so the SI answer is 1,500 rupees. Okay, 1,500. So the value of P is 15,000. That's one. Okay, 15,000. Another val answer of SI is, and the value of SI is 1,500. I hope you are clear with this question too. Let's move on with the seventh question. At what rate of SI does principal double itself in four years? At what rate? Now the question is to find R. That is the rate of interest. Does principal double itself? So if we, let's consider principal be P. Or you can consider principal as X. Let's consider principal as X. So the principal double itself in four years. Means at the end of four years, your principal value should be doubled. That is a is equal to 2 times of p that is you know that p value is x so let's consider 2 into x okay <coughs> a is equal to 2 period now you have given a value for p as x so that is nothing but a is equal to 2p okay and next 4 years <coughs> excuse me now by using a formula a is equal to p into 1 plus n i using the same formula let's solve this so you know that a is equal to 2x is equal to p in, what's the value of p that is x 1 plus what is the value of n 4 and what's the value of i you don't know right i as it is <coughs> okay this is r is nothing but i okay now here please observe properly x and x gets cancelled in, uh, in lhs and rhs right now 2 let's take this 1 to the lhs 2 minus 1 is equal to 4i okay now 1 is equal to 4i then what will be i value i is equal to 1 by 4 now what is this if you solve for i uh, 1 by 4 you will get i is equal to 0 0.25 0 0.25 as i value now the question is to find what is the rate so you have to find r you know that r if you multiply the, the decimal value into 100 right in the i is in decimal format so 0 0.25 into 100 that is 25 percentage this was a very easy problem right here you have to keep uh, keep a note here is you are taking value of principal as x and double itself in four years in the sense after four years you are going to get principal two times of the principal what you have kept as deposit okay so you're going to get two times of p now you know that p is you have taken p as x then two times of p is 2x right so a is equal to 2x n is 4 and i you have to find that is nothing but rate. So this question is clear. Right? Now let's see the eighth question. This is a, one of the most trickiest question. Okay? If you solve and keep a correct observation with my solvings, you will get hold of it. Okay? No need to worry. A certain sum of money at certain rate of interest becomes rupees 7,400 in three years. A certain sum of money. Or else I'd read the full question. Okay? And nine, rupees 9,000 in five years. Find the rate of interest and principal. So let's see the first part of question. Okay? This is the first part. Is given as a certain sum of money you don't know what is the principal okay you don't know what is the principal at a certain rate of interest even rate of interest is also not known becomes 7400 so what is this becomes for 7400 in three years it's given so 7400 in after three years sorry after three years the principal will become 7400 right so what is this 7400 that is a and what is this three that is n right now we'll form an equation using the formula a is equal to p into 1 plus n i okay let's take down the first part of the 
question okay what is p 7400 is equal to what is uh, sorry what is the value of a 7400 now what's the value of p you don't know p itself 1 plus n what's the value of n 3 what's the value of i i itself right i as it is okay now that was about the first part of the question take it as equation number one okay take it as equation number one now let's see the second part I'll write in blue okay and rupees 9000 in five years okay a certain sum of money at certain rate of interest becomes rupees 9000 in five years it's given okay a certain sum of money here also in the second part also you don't know what is the value of P and it's also given that you don't know the value of uh, you don't know the rate of interest also and you know rup rupees 9000 after five years you're going to get rupees 9000 so that 9000 is amount and n is five years okay so here again we'll write in the form of equation that is a is equal to using the same formula a is equal to p into 1 plus ni what is the value of a 9000 right what is the value of p you don't know write p as it is 1 plus what's the value of n 5 and what's the value of i right i as it is and take this equation as equation number 2 now please take a note of this okay and observe properly from this part because this is a, a bit of tricky concept okay now you have you have to find the value of principal as well as the rate of interest okay if we divide 2 and 2 by 1 okay dividing equation equation number 2 divided by equation number 1 i'll write in the next slide okay let's write like this 9000 divided by 7400 is equal to p into 1 plus 5i divided by p into <coughs> excuse me 1 plus 3i all right see the equation first we are going to write the equation to 9000 is equal to p into 1 plus 5i i have written the same thing and the first equation 7400 is equal to p into 1 plus 3i 7400 is equal to p into 1 plus 3i correct right now here in both the both numerator and denominator p is common cancel this p okay now what you have to do is divide this 9000 and 9000 divided by 7400 you will get value as 1.2162 okay and write 1 plus 5i divided by 1 plus 3i okay now now what you have to do is you have to do cross multiplication now we have to cross multiply 1 plus 3i into 1.2162 is equal to 1 plus sorry 2162 is equal to 1 plus 5i right now we have to multiply this 1.6 sorry 1.2162 into 1 one sec 1.2162 into 1 then 1.2162 into 3i I hope you know the multiplication so I made in the form of arrow right now it's clear so 1.2162 into 1 is 1.2162 itself 162 plus 1.2162 into 3i so the value is 3.6486 i is there please note 3.6486 i is equal to 1 plus 5 i don't forget to write that 1 plus 5 i also okay <coughs> now 1.2162 keep it as it is here here 1 is there in rhs right sorry yeah rhs now you have to take this 1 to the lhs then 1.2162 minus 1 is equal to 5 i minus now take this 3.6486i to the RHS. 5i minus 3.6486i. <coughs> okay. Now, what you have to do uh, is 5i minus 3.6486i. That is 1.354. 1 point, sorry, 1 point 3514. 4i is equal to 0 0.2162 now if you solve for i i is equal to 
zero point two one six two divided by one point three five one four. <coughs> and if you divide this also, you will get value of i as i is equal to zero point two one six two divided by one point three five one four is equal to. We will get the value of i as zero point one five nine nine. <clears throat> you got the value of i. Question is to find r rate of interest. So r is equal to i into hundred. What is i? Zero point one five nine nine into hundred. That is fifteen point nine nine percent. Okay. You got the value of r as fifteen point nine nine percent. So one part of the question you have completed. Find the rate of interest is done. Now we have to find principal. Now how to find principal? Substitute this i value, okay, this value, in equation one or in equation two. Let's substitute in equation one. If you substitute in equation one, seven thousand four hundred, seven thousand four hundred, substituting. Wait, let me write here. Substituting value of i in equation equation number one. This is equation number one. Okay. You are substituting the value of i in equation number one. Seven thousand four hundred is equal to p into one plus three into zero point one five. Nine nine. Now, if you solve for p, p is equal to seven thousand four hundred divided by this value, you are going to get p value as rupees five thousand. For making this video short, I have uh, skipped the, this calculation. Sorry. Okay. And this is a very basic calculation. Okay. Now we have completed all the type of problems here in a simple interest. You find <coughs> in this problem, it was there to find value of r and value of p. And you got the value of P as rupees five thousand and value of R as fifteen point nine nine percent. And that was about all the questions of simple interest. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel and please like, share, and subscribe. Okay. And please keep on supporting and please comment how was my teaching and any changes required. Okay. Keep supporting. Thank you.